There are seven continents. Sing them with me. North America, South America, Europe and Asia. Australia, Antarctica, Africa. In today's book, we are only going to learn about animals that live in North America, South America, Europe, Asia, Australia, and Africa. These are places where it's hot. Looking at Animals in Hot Places by Moria Butterfield. Camels live in deserts, which are hot and dry. They can go without food and water for many days. Their feet are big and wide, which helps them to walk on soft sand. In the deserts of Africa, people often use camels instead of cars to carry them around. Scorpions live in hot places, but they hide in the shade during the day. They come out at night when the weather gets cooler. Scorpions eat insects and spiders. They kill them with their strong claws. They kill big insects with the sting on the end of their tail. Gorillas live in jungles, which are hot and steamy. They eat a lot of fruit and bark. They live in big family groups, headed by the strongest male. Adult gorillas can be three times as big as a grown man. Gorillas climb trees where they build a nest to sleep in. The little sand cat lives in northern Africa. It is wild, not tame and friendly like a pet cat. It prowls around at night looking for mice and snakes to eat. It has sharp teeth and claws. The bottom of its paws are hairy so it can walk on the hot sand without burning itself. Lizards like hot places. This prickly Moloch lizard lives in a desert in Australia. It is covered in sharp spines. The spines stop animals from attacking it. It has a long tongue that it uses to lick up ants from the ground. Tapirs live in swamps or near streams in the jungle. They sleep in the daytime and come out at night when it's cool. They eat water plants and leaves. They can swim well, which helps them to escape bigger animals such as jaguars who would like to eat them. Birds live in hot places too. This tiny elf owl is about the size of a coffee mug. It lives in America. It lays eggs in a hole in a tall prickly cactus where they will be safe from harm. The owl is too small to make its own hole, so it looks for one that a bigger bird has made. Rattlesnakes love warmth so hot places are good homes for them. This rattlesnake lives in the American desert. It has sharp, poisonous fangs. It has a lot of tiny scales at the end of its tail. When it rattles them, it is sending a message that means stay away. Hippopotamus live in Africa. They spend the day keeping cool in the lakes and rivers. They leave the water at night to eat grasses and plants. Although they are very big and heavy, they are good swimmers. Hippopotamus are very fierce and have huge teeth. They often fight each other. The American Spadefoot Toad has big feet for digging burrows in the desert. The toad hides underground for most of the year, waiting for the rain to come. When the rain comes, the toad hops out to lay its eggs in the rain puddles. The babies grow into adults in just two weeks. The fennec fox lives in African deserts. It lives in a burrow in the sand. It has big ears that help it to keep cool. When the little fox gets too hot, the heat from inside its body passes out through its ears, just like heat coming out of a radiator. The fox's ears help it to hear well too. The red-kneed tarantula spider lives in deserts in Mexico. It hides in a burrow underground. 
It puts a few tiny silk threads outside the entrance to its burrow. When a small animal walks by, the threads wobble. Then the tarantula jumps out and bites the animal with its poisonous fangs. 